What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Should talking about the boys season four in this video here today. Just talking about some upcoming some things we I guess we should expect, honestly, when filming should start and some crossover discussions that have been revealed as it pertains to the boys and the other spinoff that's coming, The Boys Presents Varsity. So Eric Kripke, who we know is the showrunner and one of the writers involved with the series, has confirmed that certain storylines from season three are going to lead into the into the debut season of The Boys Presents Varsity spinoff. Uh, also, I guess, teasing the possibility that we could see some familiar faces show up in this spinoff series. So he says that there's definitely a crossover or there's definitely crossover and we're doing our best to design a universe that sees some of the issues and storylines in season three hand off to the first season in varsity as he revealed to deadline and he said like there's a presidential campaign happening in the background of that season and there are certain certain things that are happening at that school that are both in reaction to season three of the boys there's soldier boy uh etc but also some new storylines that are happening in that season of the spinoff that we have to pick up and take into season four of the show so the upcoming spinoff series is described as a part college show part hunger games with all the heart satire and raunch of the boys now i haven't really honestly been keeping up too much with that spinoff series i'm mostly just someone who's most mostly a fan of this main series so far the the boys series we have on amazon i am going to check out the varsity spinoff when it comes there was some things he also mentioned i guess i should talk about things again we again should expect about black noir and apparently how black noir will be returning so he stated and again when speaking to deadline he stated that this is this again is still kripke he explained how black noir is returning here's what i'll say without spoiling anything which is that particular individual who is black noir is dead his organs are out all over the place but when you have a completely silent completely mass clad hero they're reasonably easy to recast so thus i guess the assumption we should take from there is they're going to find someone to fill in the role of black noir and maybe do the same things as the other person which honestly is something they can do I just now really thought of that because of the fact I haven't really thought I didn't think of that until I saw he, that he stated something like this because I didn't even know he made these comments till just recently. So these comments, they absolutely could do that because there's only three members of the boys right now. I, I believe you have Ashley. Uh, well, not Ashley. I'm only recalling like a train right now in Homelander. There's somebody I'm not thinking of, but there's there's three members of the boys left, I believe, at this point. And if they want to bring in their fourth person to replace Black Noir, the one who died, the one who was actually in the suit, then they could do that. They can find someone who's built just the same, put them in the suit, pass that off as the same individual. Oh, this is Black Noir. Because again, at the end of the day, Black Noir has always worn a mask and he's never spoken, I guess, to anyone. So it's going to be hard, I guess, for them to pick up on it if they want to do that. So it would be interesting to see if they do that, because the other thing they could do, honestly, is what if they take someone from this varsity spinoff and that's who is in who is going to go into season four. And that's how we cross over from not only leading into the varsity spinoff, but also having a storyline from the varsity spinoff crossover into season four of the boys i like when shows do stuff like that when they're set within the same universe i honestly do those of you who are buffy fans who know i'm a buffy fan angel buffy the crossovers that happen in those series in that universe always very fun because a lot of storylines will bleed over from buffy into angel more so than vice versa uh but sometimes you have some things that fall out from Angel that bleed into Buffy. So I hope they can do something like that here with the boys. I hope that's a path they actually take now because I'm thinking about it. If a character in the varsity spinoff at this school is picked out and selected to be the new Black Noir, they could do something like that. Um, we'll see how, of course, that ends up fleshing out for that specific character in season four. If it happens of the boys, the other thing that we need to talk about is Carl Urban's comments, who we know plays Billy Butcher in the series, who said that they are going to start shooting on August 22nd. He stated in an interview stating we're starting, I think, August 22nd. We're going to be starting season four. So I'm getting back, getting my butcher back on. And I can't wait. It's a fun gang to play with. We work hard and play hard. And I can't wait to see where they take the characters from where we leave, leave them at the end of this season so also another article i came across this is coming from production insights they stated that the boys season four will begin filming on august 22nd 2002 and it's gonna it's currently scheduled to wrap on march 28th 2003 to not 2003 2023 
um i guess that's saying it would take more than six months to film and i believe that's also similar to what happened with the last season so we'll see what ends up happening and we'll see what happens with season four we'll see about these crossovers and what potentially bleeds into the varsity spinoff and if anything from the varsity spinoff bleeds into season four i'm holding out hope that there's going to be somebody in this spinoff that ends up being selected as the black noir replacement i would love to see something like that i am curious to see where a lot of these characters are going to be at going forward especially more specifically ryan i've been seeing a lot of crazy memes online about ryan how becca will be rolling in her grave you know the whole ending of season three i'm concerned about ryan because ryan he he's latching on to the wrong person latching on to the wrong person he should not be latching on the homelander but of course without becca here and with the deteriorated relationship it seems like they they have with him and uh butcher go down in season three a little bit the lack of trust homelander kind of has i guess been the most consistent and he actually as a young boy i would say has always been shown from all three of them he can't really trust anyone when it comes to grown adults in his life so he's gonna pick the person who he thinks is best out of who those people who have all proving themselves to be untrustworthy becca proved herself to be untrustworthy when she, he found out she was lying to him homelander when he tried to attack becca and we saw of course ryan defend becca against homelander and then butcher and how butcher was treating him in season three this little boy definitely might have some trust issues and has decided that homelander is the safest place to be or the most reliable out of these people who have all displayed that they are unreliable or can be unreliable they're not overall unreliable he's chosen the wrong person the most the most unreliable out of all of them would indeed be homelander so i'm concerned about him can't wait to see how this progresses into season four can't wait to see what his arc will be if they give ryan anything as it pertains to his connection now with homelander um and some other developments of course with butcher and where he's at in his life because of the results from compound v that he took how Huey might be impacted by that too because that was very vague at the end of the season but we'll see how this all plays out in season four if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you're gonna miss, never miss a video in the description i'll have links on social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video